us, and welcome to the December edition of What's New in the Library. We have some great books to talk about this month. I hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving break and came back super refreshed, because we've got a few more weeks until Christmas, and you guys cannot be thrown in the towel. we got a lot of learning to do in the next few weeks. So the first book I want to talk about is called Tumble and Blue. And this is the story of Tumble, who is a boy whose entire family is cursed. They're all living under this curse, and they all want to figure out a way to lift it so that they can have normal lives. And Blue is a hero in the making. She lives her whole life by a book about that tells you how to be a hero every single day. And she wants to save everybody. The problem is she screws it up every time. So Tumble and Blue meet each other one summer and they decide that they're going to figure out a way to control their own destinies. They're not going to have to be heroes. They're not going to have to live under a curse. They're just going to be people. And they wander off on, a, on an adventure into the desert to find a magical alligator named Munch who can help them lift all of these curses and craziness that go on in their lives. So they're on an adventure, but the truth is they're pretty naive and things get a little crazy and Munch is quite the character too. So if you like a fantasy with a little bit of adventure and a great story all in all, you need to read Tumble and Blue. The next book we're going to talk about this month is called Every Soul a Star. And this one came in in the month of November. It's the story of three very, very different kids. Allie, Bree, and Jack. And it all is around this one major event, an eclipse. And a lot of you guys should be able to relate to that because we had an eclipse here last year. So we all experienced that. And this is the story of three very different kids. Allie is very into nature, loves to go hiking and stargazing. Bree is super pretty, super popular, and kind of has some baggage because all everybody talks about is how pretty she is. And Jack is overweight and clumsy. And these three kids meet each other at the eclipse and develop quite an interesting friendship. I love this book because it goes back and forth between the three different kids. So you read three different point of views. They call that a multi-narrative. And I really, really recommend this one. I also love the author. Windy Mass. Windy Mass is one of my favorite realistic fiction authors. So if you've never read a Windy Mass book, you should totally start with this one. And our final book this month comes with a whole lot of attitude and a really fun main character. It's going to run its way in here. Patina by Jason Reynolds. If you haven't read a Jason Reynolds book yet, you are also missing out. This is actually his second book in his track series. So a lot of you guys have read Ghost because it's on the Mark Twain Award nominee list this year. So Patina is another athlete on the track team in this series. Her name is Patina, but she goes by Patty. And she's had kind of a difficult life. Her father passed away and her mother has lost both of, both of her legs to diabetes. So she lives with her uncle and aunt and goes to a different school and um, loves, loves, loves to run. She's a really interesting kid with a really vibrant personality, and she's really proud of where she comes from, but she kind of lives trapped in two different worlds because she has to go to a very um, prim and proper suburban school where it's an all-girls school and they have to wear uniforms, and she has to go there now that she lives with her aunt and uncle out in the suburbs instead of in the neighborhood where she grew up with her mom. So definitely she goes through a lot. She only gets to see her mom on Sundays when they go to church, and that's a super tough way to grow up. So awesome story about Patina and how she uses running to overcome some of her hardships. If you loved Ghost or you love anything by Jason Reynolds or you love track or sports or whatever, you can find this one in our sports section. It's called Stormbreaker. It's by and the book is about Alex Ryder and in the beginning is Uncle. Got in car in the first chapter, and then in the middle, um, he got drugged by these people that worked with his uncle, and he didn't know that his uncle was spy agent. And at the end, he talks about the second book, the introduction of the second book. There's like pictures that make, like make something, makes like a mat, makes like a mini mat. Hi, I am Kitty McGrew and I read the book Hatchet. Um, this is this boy named Brian 
who got in a prank clash. He, he was going to try to see if he would visit his other, his, his fam one of his family members. And, and I really think you should read it. <laughs> Well, guys, that does it for the December edition of What's New in the Library. And that wraps up another year of What's New in the Library. Believe it or not, you guys, this has been our fifth year of the web series What's New in the Library. Oh, stop. Yeah, no need to. Okay, keep going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Okay, so it's been a lot of fun making this series, and I can't wait to see what 2019 holds for me and you and all of the amazing readers at Beaker Middle School. I hope everybody has a great holiday break and a very happy new year. I will miss you all while we're gone from school, but I'm sure you'll be reading something to tell me about when you get back. Have a great rest of December.